In today's video, I'm going to cover how to make a spot welding pen. Um, I had originally intended to do this and lost the footage, but I've got so many comments and feedback about wanting to know how I did the pen that I actually went back and found the footage that I needed. Stick around and you'll see how I got this pen together and the materials I used to make it. got some lugs and shrink wrap and I've got some 8 gauge um, primary wire silicone and the reason I uh, chose to use this is that it's very flexible so that when we make a welding pen it'll uh, be easy to use uh, once we have it tied off to the battery. Um, I've also got this piece of wood that came off of a stair tread from a pull down attic that we changed recently. I use this because uh, it's got slots in it so uh, I'm actually going to make the welding pen out of this. So let me go ahead and show you how, uh, how we're going to do this. I'm going to start with the handle for the pen with this uh, piece of wood that I got and I'll do this on the band. So I'm going to cut it down to a reasonable uh, length and to give us what we need. Um, we really don't need a lot of wood but I'll be clamping this together with screws holding the electrodes in um, and uh, after that I'll be shaping this on a uh, on a belt sander so it's comfortable in the grip. The whole thing will be wrapped with uh, with um, giant piece of shrink wrap that I happen to have. So let me get started. I need to get new guides for this. Um, they are all wore out and I've got a little bit of crawl on this, but that should be all right. I'll, uh, once I get this on the sander, we'll, um, we'll get it all straightened out. So here's the idea behind this. If you look, you'll see the uh, two pieces of wood. And um, what I wanted to do is get this lined up and I'll put this together so that uh, we have a slot for the, uh, for the electrodes. Um, they'll be bigger. They will be held together fairly tightly inside those slots. Um, this needs a lot of cutting down and shaping. Um, I won't spend too much time showing you how I do that. Just know that I'll be cutting and I will also be uh, putting this on a belt sander after I get it screwed together and shaping it. What I'm doing now is I'm drilling some pilot holes. We're going to use screws to clamp this together. And these have to be centered perfectly because we do not want the screws touching the electrodes. Because that would be terrible. Now I am going to recess the screw. And um I want to make sure I get a bit that's big enough to recess the head on the screw. Not going to take much. Just a small divot, basically. Alright, let's get that first one in there as a test. And once I have these screwed together, what I'll do is I'll finish shaping the handle and um, Now you can buy these pens. They're available. They probably run about 30 bucks. Come with cables and everything. Um, as usual, I elected to build one myself.
Now we're going to go back, cut this short. Now we're going to go back to the sander and shape this thing up a little bit. So here's the final product. Basically, uh, it's a handle that's clamped together with uh, three screws. It's rounded off to make it comfortable. Um, I'll be drilling these out a little wider because there's some 8 gauge wire that's going in here. The electrodes will come out here. Uh, the whole thing's going to be covered in a really fat shrink wrap. But basically, with the, the goal was to make something that's comfortable to hold, rounded, you know. Um, not too bulky without any sharp corners. So there we go. Now we're going to strip this. I'm not going to strip a whole lot of it. I'm going to use a razor blade. I'm also going to be very careful because there's very fine layers of stranded uh, wire in here. I'm just going to roll this on here. And um, then I'm going to bend it basically just to break the silicone. And again, the reason I use silicone, it's just very flexible. So when you're using the uh, spot welding pen, it'll uh, make life a lot easier. I'm going to slide this on here. I say that, but a few strands uh, seem to want to come out. All right. I'm going to take one of my uh, three millimeter copper and I'm just going to slide that in there. It's actually some wire bunching up in the back there. Now, ironically, I don't have a crimper for this. So I'm going to get creative. Um, I think that's going, to, that's going to work really well, though. Um, let me get creative and you'll see exactly what I'm going to do. Let's get this in here all the way. I do have this crimper, which is way too big. I don't think this is going to work, but let's see. I want to go on the opposite side of where the, uh, the actual welding tip is going to be. No, that's not going to work, but we can do this. pinch it in there. It's kind of flattening it a little bit, but it's all right. So yeah, that's holding nice and tight. So let me get the other one done. Um, we'll put a piece of black shrink shrink wrap on this just to cover up that whole area. Get Mr. Red done. One of the challenges we're going to have 
is well I want this to sit like this with this on the outside minimal chance of contact between uh, the different uh, the electrodes. So I've already marked this I'm gonna have to cut away some uh, some material uh, to make room for the uh, for the electrode. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I really want to be super careful. I don't want these things to short circuit. It defeat the entire purpose. Uh, this one came out a little better, I think, because uh, it'll sit there on the side. So I'm going to wallow this out with a, with a Dremel tool. And um, let's get this bent a little bit. And uh, let me go ahead and get that done. All right, so the key thing now is let's get these bent and shaped. All right, what I'm doing here is I'm going to actually file the insides of these so that they're flat relative to each other. I'm going to want these pretty close together, but not touching, obviously. And we'll finish shaping these up as well. I'm going to actually put these on the sander and to shape them. So here's what I got. I did the sanding. You can see um, they're almost symmetrical. That's what I was shooting for. Might have to play around with the spacing, but uh, once we get this together, we'll find out if that's uh, necessary or not. So the last thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to double check everything's nice and tight. And. Um, get a piece of giant shrink wrap which I happen to have this particular stuff is used by the cable companies I'm not even sure if it's available commercially or not but you can use um, the uh, shrink wrap that they sell for battery packs would be big enough for this so this is something that you can get just not this particular kind So that about wraps it up for the welding pen. Um, it's pretty much done with the exception of putting in some uh, terminal lugs for it. And uh, you can do that to satisfy whatever uh, project requirements you have. But um, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, hit share, like, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.